You know what time it is. I don't have to say it. So, intro. Go. Welcome, welcome to another Red X review hosted by yours truly. Today, it's time for the long-awaited review, which I've held off for pretty good reasons. I'll just go ahead and tell you. I had to replace this figure not once, but twice. I didn't know this was going to be a common factor for the release of Chromia, but I am hearing a lot of complaints from people saying that her legs are too loose. I mean, it doesn't take much force. All you got to do is like move her right leg or her left leg and it just comes right off the hinge, which is very terrible. And that's what happened twice. But on the second figure that I got, she had both the leg problem, the halves that combine into the back wheel itself, would not stay in place they just kept popping out i don't know what the problem was but due to the fact that i've had to replace this figure twice i did myself a favor and i know i'm probably going to screw somebody if they put that figure back on the shelves but i decided to keep the blaster so as you can see this chromia my third figure has two blasters now so she's pretty accurate to the actual packaging which we'll go ahead and show off generations ruling 30th packaging not much to talk about there's chromia uh she's an all body if you haven't guessed she's uh number 22 of series 2 apparently there she is right there with two blasters and you'll notice something right here yeah hasbro's starting to throw up stickers now saying that the additional weapon which is rc's is not included so i guess this would make the figure more accurate since she only comes with one blaster which is this one i'll let you uh read that for a second okay and there's her stats right there and nothing else important let's get that out of the way a lot of people say that this design looks very similar to that of the actual light cycles from the tron series uh yeah i can see that why not but just because of the sleekness and the look of the whole thing just reminds me a little bit more of that of the moto terminators from you know terminator salvation if they were nicer and not killers obviously it's a massive retool of transformers prime robots in the skies rc it's got some light piping on the middle of the wheels i guess that's why everyone says hey it's like the light cycles so yeah uh, i like the clear dome i don't know why it needs it but i guess it's to make it look cybertronian or futuristic so i guess it works for what it is kickstand works very nice uh it's not loose or anything it's very tight it's kind of hard to move at times and i feel like i'm gonna break it every now and then uh i'll just go ahead and get the blasters out of the way but yeah you can store them right there of course you would only receive one uh there's not much to talk about anymore so how's about we just do a size comparison so we can move on so let's bring in some figures here's generations rc it's a pretty nice scale not exactly accurate to a motorcycle compared to a car, but oh well. I'm not here for accuracy. And one more. Let's bring in another Cybertronian vehicle, Tankor. Pretty cool. I can dig it. So, that's enough about that. Well, why don't we just go ahead and take her into a robot mode and continue on with this review. So, we'll be right back. Alright, here's Chromia in a robot mode very stunning i gotta say i am very much impressed i cannot believe how much attention went into detail of this retool i mean it, like i said it is a massive retool of transformers prime rc uh for contents let's just get to it why not contents let's see she's got her instruction manual don't have to go through it she's got her comic book you know continuing the uh, dark cybertron story it's not important let's get it out of the way i've got like three of these now anyway boom she is great what else can i say i am very fascinated with this design it is what it is for my collection it's not a big collection either i mean i've lost a lot of transformers over the years and i'm pretty much just glued right now with the generations line because well it's just fun to collect and it's more geared towards the, you know, 
Generation 1 style of figures. But, you know, every now and then there's IDW stuff, so, yeah. I dig it. I really, really like this design, and I'm not really bothered by this kibble back here. I know a lot of people would complain about it, but you know what? You can probably fix that a little bit, you know, just, you know, get this wheel off and, you know, put this back or something, or, you know, push it back. Eh, eh yeah, I'm just going to keep the wheel on. If I can get it back on, bear with me for one second. Um, it's not exactly IDW accurate because I think she's got silver rather than this light blue. That would explain why her eyes are actually blue, but for her eyes here, they're actually yellow. Kind of, maybe a gold color. You really can't see it. I mean, she does have light piping. Unfortunately, it suffers with how dark it is. Yeah, no, that just shines too much and it makes it look clear. But trust me, it's yellow or like a goldish color. And she's loaded with articulation. Not much is actually hindered with the actual design of this figure. You think, like, maybe she wouldn't have much with all this retooling that you could see that probably hinders it but nope I'll show you she's got a ball jointed neck as you can see she's got ball jointed shoulders and she even got a little bit of a pivoting up and down at the shoulder joint she's got rotation at the elbow it's on a ball joint why don't I just say that it's a ball joint ball jointed wrist if you get this back skirt out of the way Yes, I'm calling it a skirt, even though it doesn't go all the way around. I can't think of another name. Anyway, she's got ball-jointed legs. They are very tight. They are not going to pop off on this figure, so I am very happy about that. Back to the articulation. She's got a swivel at the thigh, as you can see. She's got a little over 90 degrees bend with that one single-jointed knee, so that works. And due to transformation, she's got a little bit of some uh, ankle pivot. Or not ankle pivot, but, you know, just the foot can move up and down. So, there's that. Uh, <laughs> she's amazing. I, I, I really do like this design for her. I didn't think it was going to work at first, but after seeing the prototype images, I was like, okay, I'm going to get myself another Prime RC figure somehow. Awesome. I had no complaints about the Prime RC figure. I've got no complaints with the Chromia. For some reason, whichever figures get this mold, they just look great. I have not been let down yet with this mold, and I hope never to be let down with this mold. As a matter of fact, I can see this mold being used again for another Fembot. Maybe a Flare Up or Alita One, or maybe even Black Arachnia. Huh? Hasbro? Come on, we can't forget her. Anyway, let's do some size comparisons for robot mode and call it a review. So, here's RC in her robot mode. Here we go. As you can see, uh, RC is a little taller, but, you know, it's a different figure. It's not the same mold as this. Anyway, here's Springer. Not all on camera, but what am I supposed to do, right? He's a Voyager figure anyhow. It's going to tower over her. So she's great. <laughs> she really is. How many times have I said that now? I really have nothing to complain about. It seems like Hasbro is really stepping up their game. And did I also mention that she has a very decent amount of paint apps? She really does. I mean, there is no way that you can actually turn down this figure. You just can't. Just like RC, like I said, you can't turn this one down. <laughs> she is just outstanding in any way that you see it. But, uh, you know, you just gotta watch out because every now and then you might find one that's got a problem. Like her legs are gonna pop off or maybe her back halves to her motorcycle wheels are not gonna stay connected with one another. It's not that big of a deal and the back piece to the thrusters that actually pegs in with the uh, two halves actually does keep it in place sometimes but not always anyway y'all wanted my opinion here's my opinion she's worth it go get her stop watching this video just go now i command you ha anyway that's it 
Um, if you like this review, you know what to do. Just leave a comment down below. Share this video with others. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Red X reviews. And until the next review, that is me, Red X, signing out. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.